Ollie Wine's withdrawal from Thursday night's match against Melbourne could be linked to COVID-19, according to the hosts of Channel 9's Sunday footy show. Port Adelaide confirmed Wine suffered heart palpitations during their match against Melbourne last Thursday, resulting in him coming from the field during the first half. Wines, 27, left to receive treatment after suffering nausea and dizziness 27 minutes into the loss to the reigning premiers. Wines was forced to withdraw from Port Adelaide's with Melbourne on Thursday with nausea and dizziness. He later experienced heart palpitations and is being monitored. He also suffered heart palpitations, and the power confirmed he would undergo further tests to monitor the situation. The Sunday footy show panel speculated that Wine's hospitalization might be linked to the COVID vaccination, which is mandatory for all AFL players. His subbing out of the game on Thursday night for nausea slash heart reasons, he spent time in hospital. It's just a big unknown as to when he will play again. It may be as soon as this week, but nothing coming out of the club at this stage, journalist Damien Barrett said. That prompted Triple MS Nathan Brown to ask, is there a lot of this going on in world sport at the moment, Damo? A lot of athletes have got these issues. Are you referring to the booster shots and the contracting of COVID? Barrett asked. Brown replied, I was referring to the booster shots, that's obviously the word going around. Look, it's being discussed, Barrett said. Hashtag Australia Sunday footy show host admits live on air that hashtag COVID-19 booster shots are causing multiple players to suffer serious heart issues and Bell's palsy. Wards filled with people suffering the same issues. Finally some truth coming out about hashtag vaccines. Hashtag SAISCOV2 Hashtag COVID-19 Nudgy 9 f one a 0 Hashtag no follow back in Imri, April 10, 2022. I haven't been able to get an official line on that from anyone attached to Ollie Wines at this stage, but yeah, the question is being asked and put to me and others, including yourself, by a lot of people. About the possibility of that. Wines situation has led to plenty of online speculation that he was suffering from the heart condition myocarditis, which has been linked to COVID vaccinations in a small number of people. The Australian government's Department of Health has confirmed that there is a small increased risk of pericarditis and or myocarditis in people who have received messenger RNA COVID-19 vaccines, including the Pfizer and Moderna jabs. Symptoms of myocarditis or pericarditis typically appear within one to five days of vaccination. People who experience any of these symptoms after having an mRNA COVID-19 vaccine should seek prompt medical attention, the government website says. The advertiser has reported that an Adelaide cardiologist has ruled out myocarditis, which is an inflammation of the heart muscle, as the reason Wines was hospitalised. Wines was released on Friday evening after the issue resolved itself, but remained under observation at home over the weekend. Matthew Lloyd was recently diagnosed with Bell's palsy, which has also been linked to COVID vaccinations. Essendon great Matthew Lloyd was recently diagnosed with Bell's palsy, a form of facial paralysis, and he said the instances of people getting the condition had increased since COVID jabs had been administered. It's not just the heart issues, without delving into your private affairs, but you've got Bell's palsy at the moment which hopefully you're on the back end of. But there's a bit of that getting around as well, Brown said. Lloyd replied, heart issues and Bell's palsy have gone through the roof since the boosters and COVID issues. We had sports journalist Michelangelo Rucci on a 3AW on Friday night, and he said that there's a ward filled with people with similar symptoms to Ollie Wine's nausea, heart issues, so there has to be something more to it. Brown concluded by saying the panel were not experts, but called for further research to be carried out on the links between COVID vaccines and heart conditions and Bell's palsy. We're not anti-vaxxers, we've all done our due diligence and boosters and all of that, but there is going to have to be some study done on this, not just in a sporting sphere, but a community sphere, he said.